Good Wednesday evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Darcy Strickland in for J.R. Berry tonight. Today, the United Methodist Church announced that hundreds of churches nationwide would be officially leaving the denomination, including more than 100 churches here in South Carolina. News 19's Nate Stanley had a chance to speak with pastors today about the decision to stay or leave. And Nate, I know it could not have been easy. No, not an easy decision for many of them. One pastor, though, described the situation as a multiplication of the church, an opportunity to expand whether they decided to stay or leave the denomination. Everyone I spoke to says today they're feeling grief. And wow, it certainly wasn't our plan A. It's not something that we had hoped would ever happen. A day of reflection Wednesday for Pastor Jody Flowers, who has been leading the Chapin United Methodist Church for decades. His church was one of 113 that elected to leave the denomination this week. So the issues for us when we began to have conversations in 2018 centered around the inspiration of Scripture, the interpretation of Scripture. Were we going to continue to interpret Scripture the way the church has for 2,000 years? Or would suddenly we begin to try to interpret it differently? He says ultimately his church decided it would be best to step away from the United Methodist Church. Flowers notes, however, separation because of different ideas is something that Christianity is familiar with. There's been a, a, a movement where God would bring one group out, start something new, then another group comes out. You know, the Methodist Church came out of the Church of England. And then lots of denominations have come out of the Methodist Church through the years. One church that chose to stay under the United Methodist denomination is the Wesley Church on Gervais Street. Reverend Tiffany Nolan Boykin is the lead pastor there. We believe we have been United Methodists for decades and decades. We believe in the work of the church. We, our focus, like I said, is doing kingdom work, is outreach, mission, showing the love and the hope of Jesus Christ. So there's nothing that's changed in that aspect for us. And so our focus on is on whosoever. She was in attendance at the United Methodist Convention in Florence, South Carolina this week and says the atmosphere was a somber one, but adds that church is about unity and is still praying for those who decided to step away. I think that the hope for most of us is that all of us can go forth and do the work of the kingdom, even those who feel like they are being called on a different path. Flowers says his church is currently exploring options for what to do next, being led by their Way Forward team hosting meetings and praying for guidance for their next step, and an announcement should be made soon. Reporting in studio, Nate Stanley, News 19, WLTX.